there were a few uh, on the WTA tour. Um, I mean, the, the thing to say about it generally is, is for the, the sort of lower level things like the ITF, where you're know, winning a tournament, you might only get ten thousand dollars, and you have to add your accommodation, you have to fly there, your trainer, all of those things. So, given those circumstances, that's why it's right for fixers because they say to you, we'll give you twenty thousand dollars to throw a match where if you win the whole tournament, you know, you're not even going to get that. Then you can see the why people would be tempted into it. Well, they they were very small units. Um, they have expanded that since our investigation, but initially there were only a couple of them. At Global Sport, you know, you need real investigatory power. And what they, they didn't have, like, a betting analyst. And a lot of the evidence, when we talked to the investigators who looked into it, you need to look at the, the, the betting practice where you start, because you never spot it in a match. You never spot someone throwing a match. It's all about, you know, the, the pattern they'd identified was, you know, player one goes a set up, three love up, and then suddenly fortunes reverse when the other player comes back and wins. Um, but, you know, when they'd be looking at the betting pattern and see the player that's losing, and they're a set and a half down, but all the betting's still on them, and they're thinking, hang on, that, that's weird, especially if they were, you know, a far lower ranked player. So there were really tough questions for uh, the Tennis Integrity Union, and they, you know, they had names of players, they saw the evidence we did, and you know, they didn't follow it up. Um, you know, there were there were individual investigators as well. For example, there was the investigation that started it all off into the Davidenko match. And the you know, it was a very highly experienced British detective who looked at that and felt this needs further investigation and there wasn't any. So they they would look at it, but then they wouldn't go the extra mile. And, you know, they had a few different, you know, there was the investigation by British Horse Racing Authority, they did on their behalf, and it was another investigation into environmental issues, they called it, but it was about integrity. And nothing happened to those players. And if they did do anything, it was all secretive.